Oh, Ay, Johnny. ¿Qué tal, pues? Buenas noches. Bien, 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 very good. So good. So good. Y cargando estas cosas porque les van a conectar ellos solitos. Tienen los carros de cabeza. Sí, así están en, en, en una. Los los tienen así en los Porsche, en los Ferraris. ¿sí? Están colgados. Y sí, así veo que están como en medio de la vida. Sí, ahí están. Así veo como colgado, va que pelado. ¿Y eso a dónde es? Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. ¿Y eso a, dónde, a qué estado pertenece? No, es en Los Ángeles. Los Ángeles. California siempre. California, sí. Mm. sí ahí, está. ahí está, vale, se ve la diferencia. Solo Beverly Hills, un lujo. Uh, Canel, eh, Stan, Rap, Lauren, Lauren, este... Y, Luton, y de repente ya sale de ahí uno y ya encuentra todo el tiradero. Sale de Homeless donde... y todo. Sí, es con Homeless. Ahí está la alcaldía, bien bonita la de ahí de Bebo de Gil. Ah, no, hombre. Un edificio, un pueblo en Capitolio, bien bonito. Ah, no, hombre. Uh -huh. Se va a su nada. Ahí andan los turistas en, en, unos, en una conga bus. Mm. Te dan un tour que, que lo llevan a las casas de los famosos a uno. La casa no, de los no. de la Tom, la de no. los, y los no. mil y todo eso. La verdad es que te confío, que ya tiene esposa. Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to the good class. Evening. Hi, how are you doing? ¿Qué tal? Yeah, good evening, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, Amy. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. It's me again. I see again. Uh, yeah, it's me again. Not, not a new teacher, just me. Yeah, yeah. It's me. One more time. It's me, Mario, right? <laughs> But it's me, Diana, in this case, right? So, yeah, it's me this time. I'm going to be your teacher for this module again. And we're going to wait for your classmate because I have a lot of class classmates coming today. I think I have, um, let me see. I think I have 28, no, 27 students today. No, 27, yeah, 27. So this is a big group. So we're we are waiting for them to join the class. But yeah, thank you for your punctuality. I appreciate it. I'm going to text you. Let's be escribir al grupo de WhatsApp. Maybe they are still... I don't know. I'm waiting. Hello. We're waiting for you guys to come to class. Come to the class. Okay. There we go. Okay. So thank you for your punctuality. One more time. You know that that is very important to me. I really appreciate that you are punctual to the class and you're here and you are on time, right? Like we start classes at 8 p.m. because we go from 8 p.m. to um to 10 p.m. as you know, right? Okay. So let's see. Present. Yes, I know you're present here. Okay. Anyways, so welcome to the class one more time. I know it's me. Hello. Para los que no me conocen, my name is Diana Rodriguez. Sayas, okay. I'm gonna be your teacher for this module. You can call me Miss, you can call me Miss Diana, okay. That is my name. Now, uh, remember that we're starting the intermediate, right? We are starting the intermediate level, so obviously we have to speak mostly and preferably only in English, okay, because we are starting a new like chapter in the English learning process, okay? Now, let's see. My goodness, I have two people writing to me. 
Oh my god. Let's do that. So order. Ana Veronica, okay, perfect. Good. Okay, let's continue. As I was saying before, como les decía antes, we're gonna start this class and we're gonna start only and fully in English. What is different with this module and the last module? Do you know? What is the difference between the two modules? Uh, basic and intermediate, what is the difference? You know, you don't know? The quantity mm -hmm. of hours the quantity of hours jocelyn thank you very much last module in basic uh the basic level we do how many hours do we do we do 120 wait 100. no 120 100. minutes minutes that's 20. every day every day we do that that is every day no 50 Absolutely. hours 50 hours this one 50 last one 40. So in the last module, we had classes for four weeks, right? Remember? This module, we're going to have classes for five weeks, okay? So we are starting today, and today is Monday, May 29th, and we're going to finish on Friday, June 30th, 30th okay? So a month, we're going to be here a month okay for example <clears throat> wait a minute this week is the first week then on june we have four more weeks to go okay so that will be a total of 50 hours meaning five weeks of classes do we understand that information yeah okay yes Perfect. Excellent. Good. Welcome, Ramiro. Happy to have you here. Yes, me too. <laughs> Good evening, Miss. Good nice. evening, Ramiro. Nice. To I am happy to stay in your class again. <laughs> I'm happy that you're in my class again. Thank you. We have a couple of new uh, participants. For example, I can see Eric Reyes is the first time I see him. Oscar Figueroa as well is the first time I'm seeing him. And I hope we get along pretty good and that you enjoy and like my class, okay? This is a very good group. Everyone is, I don't know, they are really involved in the learning process and they are happy to learn and happy to help their classmates. I know that, okay? So, but before we start, as you know, we always need to go through the attendance. So I'm gonna go with that already. Hannah Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. I'm here. Present. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. I have three Eric's now, wow. Henry Adonai Torres Gomez. Not here. Jacobo de Jesus Gomez Gomez. Present, Miss. Okay. Jenis Carolina Vasquez de Medrano. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Okay. Wait a moment. Jonathan Josué Oliva Enríquez. Jonathan. Okay. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present, Miss. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. Okay. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez, Artiga Vázquez, perdón. Here, teacher, present. Okay. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, Miss. 
o seas Figueroa Cisneros. Ok. A Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Ahí viene, creo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Ok. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Ok. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Miss. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Jacqueline Lisset García Miranda. Nope. Ok. Got it. So, anyways, welcome to the class, everyone. Thank you for being here. And as you know, as always, thank you for your punctuality. Okay. One more time. My name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas. You can call me Miss or Miss Diana. The main difference that I explained to my student is you say teacher, that is good. Colloquially good. But when you say teacher, you say docente, right? And you don't say docente to your teacher every time. So the correct way to say it is say Miss Diana. That will be like Señor Diana, uh, Niña Diana, Profe Diana, whatever you want to say. Miss, it's better, okay? So Miss Diana will work better with me, okay? And when you talk to boys that are teachers, you can say Mister when is a male, okay? Mister for boys, Miss for girls. Got it? Okay. One. One more time, welcome to the class. I know we have a couple of new students that we're gonna make them feel welcome to our group, but mostly we are the same group as the last module. And I'm happy with that because we are all here and we're going to continue. We only say bye-bye to Miguel, right? I think he's the only one that is not here. Miguel, right? Miguel Angel. But now everybody is here and we're gonna continue with our classes as usual. Have you checked if you have access to the platform? Do you have access to the platform? Yeah, everyone? Yes, I can. I can. Yes, you do? Okay, perfect. Okay, because we're going to be working there as always. And as you know, if you want me to help you with the platform, I can help you, okay? But... We are going to go on time with the homeworks. For example, this week, we have to finish the week one, next week with two, and so on, right? Section one, section two, section four, and section, let me see. I think in this module, oh, I didn't see. Do we have five sections or four sections? I haven't checked that. Let me see. So we are here, intermediate number one. Let me see. Oh, we only have four sections. Okay. Four sections and five weeks. I think we can do it. We can finish on time. We're going to try to finish before we finish the classes. Okay. So we can finish pretty early with this. Okay. Now we have five, uh, four units. The unit number one is the restaurant industry. So we're going to learn restaurants vocabulary. In the section two, we have procedures, right? Procedures people do in their businesses. Section three, we have monitoring personnel, vocabulary related to this. And in the section four, we're going to have a personal training. In the last module, we also talk about training. So this is not new for you. Oscar René, go ahead. Only, only questions and no problem with the minutes in the after uh, mod, module. No problems with? With the minutes. Mm -hmm. eh, lo que se perdieron en la clase, los minutos, no tuvo problema con esto. Oh no, they didn't grabaron. say anything. They didn't say anything. No me dijeron nada, they didn't say anything. So I think it was good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. tenía la, la, eso, 
No, thank you, because I know you try to help me, right? I know you have the recording. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Oscar. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Tell me. ¿Cuántos módulos dura el intermedio? Intermediate level has six modules as the beginning module as well. Same thing. Okay. Thank you. So I think if I'm not mistaken, it's six, six, and six. That will be like 18, yeah, 18 months to learn English. The thing is that we have sometimes we need to wait. But this module, we only waited for a week, right? To start with the new classes. Remember, we waited like one week. That was it, right? I think it was just one week, week the time that we had to wait. Okay, anyways. So I was explaining the platform. I'm going to explain again. We have these four sections that we have to complete, right? You have it here. These are the name of the units. And we have obviously always at the end of section two, the midterm, and at the end of section four, the final exam, okay? Now, if you go here in this part, we have the student's manual, okay? You always go to the student's manual, you will find the book, the book that we're gonna be using. This is it, right, the student's manual. In the beginning, we have conversation and all the stuff as we always do the same thing as always. Remember, just to clarify again, you have to have your cameras on. If you have them off, you need to tell me why. Microphones only on when you need to speak or say something, <clears throat> you're gonna turn on your microphones. Otherwise, leave them off because we don't want like eh, going viral on the internet. Then in these classes, we are going to speak mostly English because we are intermediate level. I don't expect from you a perfect English level, okay? What I need is you to try to speak only in English, got it? If you cannot say it in the correct grammatical form, just try to communicate your idea, okay? Now, I am speaking slow. I am using basic vocabulary to try to communicate my ideas. Are you understanding so far? Yeah? That's me, I understand. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. A little Spanish, yes. me. No Spanish. I'm not going to be speaking Spanish this module because now we are intermediate level. At least it's an emergency case or that I need to clarify something that nobody understood. Maybe, maybe I can use it. But if you want me to explain, I can explain to you again in English, maybe with more basic words or easier words for you to understand. But now, as you know, we are intermediate number one. Welcome everyone to intermediate number one. You are this close to speak perfect English, okay? And I say congratulations to you because I know you are here because you want to improve. Maybe you want to improve your incomes. Maybe you want a better job opportunity. Maybe oh, like many things you are here for and you are about to complete that. You are really close to achieve your goal, okay? <clears throat> now, I don't know if you have any questions so far. No questions? Nope. All good? Okay. Or maybe you don't want to ask me questions because you don't want to speak in English. Is that so? Yeah? <laughs> don't it's worry. It's all clear, Miss. It's all clear. Also clear, Jocelyn? Okay, got it. Good job. Well, if you want to ask me something and you don't find the words, but if you try first to explain it in English, then you can speak Spanish. But you have to try to explain to me in English first. Then we can go with Spanish. But first, you really need to try it in English, okay? Okay, let's go. We're going to go here with the unit number one that, as I told you before, 
The name of the unit is the restaurant industry. Resto, to, restaurant, no restaurant, restaurant. The restaurant industry. And first, to start with this unit, we have an important question. This is going to be a conversational practice. The first question we have there, I don't know if, Jocelyn, can you help me read the questions, please? What what is your favorite restaurant? Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. So the first question says, what is your favorite restaurant? Hmm. Got me thinking, what is my favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant? I don't know. I like Chinese food. So any or Japanese food, if I go to one of those. My that's favorite my favorite. restaurant, Laka Laka. It's Laka Laka? Okay, good, good. So you like Mexican food, right? So the next question here, can you help me read this question, Ramiro? What makes this restaurant a special place? Excellent, Ramiro. So when you answer the first question, we're going to answer what makes this restaurant a special place. Now we go yeah. with I also, think the what is the, it? I think the special place uh, in into the restaurant is a um, very nice, uh, very nice uh, food and uh, and place. Uh huh. Uh, ambience too. Okay. Yes, that's very important. So, Ramiro, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is the uh, food, fit uh, food, fit food, and uh, 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 fish and uh, shrimp. Uh, oh, you like uh, you like um seafood. Seafood, yes. Thank you, me. Seafood, seafood. yes. I like. But is there a specific name of a restaurant you like? Uh, yes, uh, Olas Permanentes is a nice restaurant for seafood. Where is Olas Permanentes? Uh, Olas Permanentes is uh, in, uh, in the El Tunco and in San Salvador, too. Wow, okay. So that's your favorite restaurant because you like seafood, right? Yes, I like, very like, okay. a lot. Like. Okay, I like it a lot. Very good. Let's go now with Oseas. Can you uh, read the next question, please, Oseas? Um, what is more popular in your city? So, um, I can read the next. Oh, okay. Let me, like that. Um, take out? Take out or delivery service. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Oseas. So we're going to answer this question as well, right? What is more popular in your city? Where do you live? Take out? Do you know the meaning of take out? No. When you go to the restaurant to pick your food and you eat in your house. Oh, okay. Got okay. it. And delivery service is when you call and they deliver the food to your house, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Oseas. So we're going to answer in groups, okay, in groups, what is more popular in our cities, take out or delivery service? I'm going to answer these questions in my case, and I'm going to answer, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Koi, okay? What makes this place, this restaurant a special place? Because I love sushi and I love their sushi, okay? What is more popular in your city, takeout or delivery service? I think, I don't know, but what I do the most, I think is delivery service because you don't have to get out of your house and you eat it in your home and you get delivery service. So I think the most popular in my city is a delivery service, okay? now. You understand the activity, we're gonna go and we're gonna ask the questions to, a, to, to the classmates. For example, let's say that I'm working with Jenny's, with Eric and with Oscar. 
Okay, so I'm gonna ask Jenny. Jenny, what is your favorite? Oh, okay, she's gonna answer. Then I'm gonna wait for her answer and I'm gonna say, okay, what makes this place a special place, right? And Jenny is going to answer. Then I'm going to ask her the next question. What is more popular in your city? Delivery or takeout, take out or delivery, okay? Now Jenny, because I was asking to Jenny's, Jenny's is going to ask Eric, okay? And wait for the answers. Then Eric is going to ask Oscar, for example, and go with the next classmate and so on. Okay, we, do we understand how we're going to do this activity? Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay, yes. perfect. Now, if you want to take a screenshot and send it to the group so you have the questions there, I'll appreciate it. Oh, I have it already. Huh, you send it already? I think you send it already. You send it? Oh, no, no, they didn't send it. So if you can send the, the picture, please, I'll appreciate it. So we can continue. I'm driving and we'll be listening. Okay, Sandra, safe drive. Okay, so this, remember, is a conversational activity. You have to speak in English. Maybe not a perfect English, because I'm not hoping for a perfect English. I'm not expecting that, but try to participate with the English you know, okay? We got it? Yes. I got okay. it. Yes, miss. Good job. I have, a, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, um, we, we have to uh, write the answer? No, you don't have to write the answers. Just speak. Okay. Don't speak out. You see the only thing you have to do, okay? Let's go. There you have the invites. Let's join the breakout rooms.
De tú. Hola tú. La dos. ¿Cuál es el más popular? Uh, or delivery service. Uh, stay out. Next. Jenny, practicamos practice yes, to me. Yes. Okay. okay. I, I'm your... a star. Hola, hola. Okay, you. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite, uh, my favorite restaurant in is in Sonsonate City is uh, in the delivery. Delivery different products, Panda, China World, Puyo Campero, um, <clears throat> uh, Typicos Margot, and very most and um, delivery mo motorci motorcycle and Dia de Pago. Yes, it's more easy. And uh, <laughs> when when you see the uh, rain, time rain, uh, it's very dangerous for these people. What happened, Carlos? Hello, Miss. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Which one now? Se no me puede escuchar. Can you? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, no. perfect. <laughs> what breaker room were you in? Okay. What breaker room? The number of the breaker room, you remember? No. Let's no. connect there. Oh, okay. I'm going to send you mm -hmm. to one. Ahí está. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, now we're here again. I'm gonna choose some participants to ask them um, the questions, okay? So let's see. Hmm. We're gonna ask Julio Aguillon. <clears throat> Julio Aguillon, what is your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant is Papa John. Oh, okay, okay. What makes this restaurant a special place? Julio? What makes this restaurant a special place, Julio? <clears throat> Metro Centro Lourdes. But what is special about it? ¿Por qué le gusta? What is special? Oh, okay. The the place it's so quiet. Okay. Okay, it's quiet. Okay. Uh and the next question, what is more popular in your city? Take out or delivery service? A delivery. Delivery service? Okay, perfect. Now let's go with another participant. We're gonna ask Mayra Artiga. Mayra Artiga, what is your favorite restaurant? Mm, my favorite restaurant is hmm, Style 68. Okay. What makes this restaurant a special place? The food. One time, the rice is, is, is better for me. And because I share a good moment with my partners, Chinese guys, Oh, okay. So it's Chinese food. Chinese food. It's, let, let me recall the name. It's Style 68. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm writing recommendations of the places that I have in food. <laughs> okay, exactly. It's Style 68. Where is this? This is in San Salvador? Yes, Santa Elena City. Santa Elena. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay. And the next question, what is more popular in your city, takeout or delivery service? A delivery service. Okay. Thank you, Mayra. Okay. You're welcome. Let's ask another participant. We're going to ask um, Janice. Janice, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Royal. Royal. In a food Ruchina Food in San Salvador. What is the name again? Royal. 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 Okay. Is is that what kind of food is that? What type of food? ¿Qué tipo de comida? What type of food? China. Chino. Chinese. Chino food. Chinese. Ch Ch Chinese. Chinese. Okay. And what makes this restaurant a special place? It is a delicious meat. Delicious meat, okay. You say royal. Royal. Is that in San Salvador as well? In San Salvador, Colonia Escalón. Okay, got it. Okay, thank you very much. And the next one is, what is more popular in your city? Takeout or delivery service? In delivery service. Delivery service, okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate okay. it. Guys. That's really good. Thank you very much for sharing your restaurants. Now, I want everyone <laughs> to send in, in the Zoom chat the name of your favorite restaurant. I'm going to take recommendations, okay? So please write the name of your favorite restaurant here in the chat, okay? I want to see what is the name of your favorite restaurant. It doesn't matter what it is. I was thinking that I also have another favorite restaurant is... Mi Pueblito. It's called Mi Pueblito. It's in the Alegrías town. I don't know if you have ever been to Alegría. It's in Usulután. It's in Alegrías town. It's called Mi Pueblito and it's very good. $14 and you get this huge plate and they have shrimp and they have meat, chicken, whatever you want. They have it and it's big. So I'm reading your recommendations. I wanna see what recommendations you have for me, okay? Thank you very much. Now, while you send your recommendations, we're gonna go to the next activity. And in the next activity, we have a conversation, okay? Where they are using 
comparatives. Okay, that's a topic that is very important because today I say I heard someone say more easy. That is not correct. The correct form is easier. But we're gonna learn about that today. But before we learn about comparatives, I'm gonna go here with the conversation. Okay, here we have it. Papa John's Pizza Hut, pizza, Pollo Master. Like the pizza they do. Oscar, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, yes, some people love pizza. And I like pizza too, but not all kinds of pizza. Papa John's I like. Pueblo Viejo, okay, thank you. Okay, here is the conversation. I'm going to read your recommendations later. Here is the conversation, okay? Now, in this conversation, we have uh, comparatives. This is the, what I'm telling you, comparatives. And we're going to learn how to use them today. But first, let's go with the conversation. This says, Luigi has a pizza restaurant, but he wants to have more customers. Read the conversation to complete the statements below. So he needs more customers. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, no. The secret is the sauce. It's not the cheese or the sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers. And we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are a genius, genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Do you need me to repeat a specific pronunciation or the meaning of a word? Yes, Miss, I have a question. Uh, we have to hire a person. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? So we need to have a contract with new 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 employee. Ah, okay. hire, hire means to have a new employee. Fire I, to say okay. bye. Okay, thank you. Hmm? Another one? So the word specialty. Specialty. It's specialty. the it's the special plate of a restaurant. Okay. Thank you. Another question? Yes, I could see uh, sauce. How can I say sauce. better? Sauce. Yeah, correct. Okay, thanks. Sauce. Hmm? Sauce. Another question? <clears throat> no questions? Ah, you're shy. You're not like this. Maybe you're shy because you have to speak in English. Don't be shy. <laughs> Let's speak in English. I have a question. Okay, it's, Oscar. It's pepperoni. Pepperoni. Yeah, that's the part of pronunciation. Pepperoni. Pepperoni decoration. Hmm? Decoration. Beautiful decoration. Oh, beautiful decorations. Yes. Decoration. Okay. These words, for example, pepperoni and pizza, they are Italian words. 
So we say them as they say immediately. Pizza, pepperoni, right? Pepperoni, pepperoni. <clears throat> nope, okay. So I'm gonna send you the audio with the correct pronunciation. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or the sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers. And we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Jessica, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, you have the audio there. So you can listen to it and practice again, okay? Now we're gonna go and we're practice this conversation. We're gonna go and practice this conversation. Remember that practice makes perfect. The more you practice this conversation, the better you're gonna get in your pronunciation. Do we understand the activity we are going to do? Yes, I'm gonna send people to the break rooms. Remember, you have to practice. If your classmates are not speaking in the breakout room, please call me so I can go and move you to another breakout room. There you go. Let's join. Lisette, Anna, and Sylvia, can you join the breakout rooms? Miss, yo tengo problemas de internet, acabo de volver a entrar. Okay, got it.
offer table reservation for regular customers. And we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are a genius. Then we add more cheese and more sauce. They will be the new specialty of the house. That's it. Okay, switch. Ramiro, what happened? I finish. Yeah, finish. I I can connect it with my computer. You you help me, please, Miss, to return on my room. room. What is what is your room? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> is it Maria Julia? Oh, okay, number two. Thank you. You're welcome. Table reservation for regular customers. And we don't receive take our orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new, especially of the house. Means is genius or genius? Genius. 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 It also it's new specialty. Specialty. 
Specialty is, is correct. Specialty. Specialty, yes. Okay. Specialty. We have to hire a, a person to, to make deliveries. No, no. The secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customer and we don't receive take out order. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the change, I am Luigi Ramiro. Hello, Javier. Amado Javier. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Are you working? Yes. Okay, so you're going to be participating or as a listener? Uh, repeat, please. Are you going to participate in the class or you are going to be a listener, oyente? Participate. Oh, okay. So, were you in a breakout room? Uh, yes. No. Uh, uh, now, it shares the... No, but I'm, I'm, I'm asking if you... Estaba trabajando con su compañero ya? Were you working with your classmates? Sí. Sí, estaba trabajando con ellos, pero ahorita tuve que bajar un ratito, entonces para seguir escuchando y de ahí me uno de nuevo a la reunión. Ok, ok, thank you. Ok.
Hello, welcome back. So let's do this one more time. Let me show you here. Okay, I'm gonna have um, Henry Torres, Torres, perdón, I'm sorry, <laughs> speaking English, Henry Torres and Rafael Antonio Hernandez, okay? Um, Henry Torres, you're gonna be Luigi, Rafael Antonio Hernandez, you're gonna be Carla, okay? Okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. We, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We all need more rooms for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make the deliveries. No, no. The secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheesy of the sauce. We, we have to offer a table of reservation for regular customers. And we don't receive or take out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla. You are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Excellent. Good job. Give them an applause to the classmates. Good job. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, we're just gonna correct a few pronunciations, nothing serious, but yeah. Okay, the first one we have here is cost customers, okay? It's customers. This one is okay. better, better with R, right? Instead of T, better, no, better, better. Also, cheese, cheese. Receive, receive, receive. Okay, now we'd like to go with Veronica Burgos and Lisette Garcia. Okay, Veronica, you start. Okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. place. We also need more room for more tables and we need to hear a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customer and we don't receive the out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce that will be the new specialty of the house. Specialty, right? Okay, specialty. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give them an applause. An applause, an applause to thank the classmates. You. Thank you, Lisa and Veronica. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's continue. Now, <clears throat> we're going to make a few corrections here. So maybe we need to add pizza. Pit, pit, pizza, right? pizza with a T, like two, two Z's in Italian, they sound like a T and an S, pizza, okay, pizza. Now, higher, 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 sauce, sauce, receive, receive, specialty, specialty, okay? Thank you very much for your participations. And now we're going to continue with the topic comparatives, okay? So in Spanish, as in English, we have adjectives in when we can use them to make comparisons or to talk about like a superlative way. For example, when I say um, more beautiful, or in this case, we have here, 
Let me show you. In the conversation, we have the examples. Better than. So we're talking that cheese is better than pepperoni. So we're making a comparison between cheese and pepperoni, right? Bigger than. So the restaurant is bigger than or restaurant. So we are making a comparison between two restaurants. They have more beautiful decorations. So this is a comparison as well. So now I would like to show you how to use comparatives, okay? Let me show you how to use the comparative forms. For example, to make comparisons, we need the adjective plus ER usually. If the adjective has one syllable, one or two syllables, okay? One or two syllables. Okay, for example, late, okay? The comparative for this will be later, okay? Later. Another one, let's think, fat. I don't know, not, I'm gonna use the example in another one. Let's think, late, later, um, <laughs> For example, if we say old, do you know the meaning of old? Do you know what it means? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we want to say that, for example, I am older, older. than another person. I want to mm -hmm. say older, right? So he use it with this, older. Now, this is the first rule, first rule that we're gonna follow, okay? Like this. Now, the second rule that we need to follow is this one. If the adjective has more than one syllable or two, three more syllables, uh, <laughs> then we use more, okay? For example, the adjective important. If we use, okay, with more will be more important. Because as we can see in these adjectives, we have one, two, three syllables. So I cannot say important there. I have to say more important. Let's think about another one. Beautiful. Beautiful has beauty, beauty, full, three adjectives, beautiful. So in this case, I'm gonna say more beautiful, beauty. all right. More beautiful, like that, okay? Now, this is like the most important part of this, but here are a few exceptions. So for example, if we have a, an adjective that ends in consonant plus vowel plus consonant, okay? We need to double the last consonant. For example, fat in this case will be fatter, okay? Yes? For example, the next one that we have is big. <clears throat> we need to double the last consonant and add girl, right? So something like this, so you understand. Double the last consonant. Okay, like that. But fatter, big, bigger. Then we have another exception. 
that it says. Adjectives ending in Y, delete the Y and change it for an I. For example, with happy. Happy will change and will become happier. Yes? For example, easy will change and will become easier. Okay, easier. Got it? Well, let me change the color of that. So you have different colors. There you go. <clears throat> okay, those are like a few exceptions. And then with the adjectives, the same thing that in, for example, this one here, look, the last letter is a letter E. So the only thing that I have to add is the letter R because I already have the E. So I don't have to double the last E. So just add like that. So these are the most important rules to make comparisons and to use comparative adjectives in English. Do you have questions so far? Did you understand what I explained? So I don't I don't know if you understood or not. <laughs> it's clear as our chara. No, it's clear as our chara. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay. Someone else? Nobody else? Do you have questions? Oseas, is it clear? Understood. Okay, understood, perfect. Another one, no questions? Okay, if you don't have questions, then we're gonna go and practice, okay? Now, the most important thing right here, right now is this, okay? We need to understand that when we have adjectives like this, we're gonna say like ER, we're gonna add ER. And when we have three more syllables in an adjective, we're going to add the word more before the adjective, okay? Now, to make comparisons, there are two important parts, okay, for comparative adjectives. So I need more, and I need the adjective, and then I need then, okay? Got it? to make a comparison between two things. Let's call it, and we're gonna say here, thing number one. Thing one. Plus thing two. Got it? <clears throat> Let's make a comparison. Your house, that is thing one, okay? Oh, I need the verb to be, sorry, verb be. Okay, that will be fine, okay. Your house is, let's say, bigger, big, right? But in this case, I don't add the word more because the adjective only has one syllable. So I double the last one. Your house is bigger, then I use ten. Then. And the thing number two, my house, okay? This will be the comparison, but I would like to do it in another way. And I'm gonna add it like here. To be in the middle, okay. So now we did this and we can identify the parts of it. Let's do it. Thing number one, your house. Verb to be is. The more is here, the ER, right? The adjective is big. Then we have done. And then we have the thing number two, my house. You see? It's perfectly as it has to be. Now. Let's 
Spanish is more complicated than English. I have explained that to you, okay? Spanish is the thing number one. Is more complicated, it's the adjective, than English. So I'm making a comparison between Spanish and English. What is the adjective? Complicated. The comparison, more, okay? Spanish is more complicated than English. And in this case, the adjective has one, two, three, complicated, four syllables. So of course I need the word more to make a comparison. <clears throat> Is that clear now? Or do you have questions about it? Understood? No? Do you need me to repeat the explanation? Hey guys, you have to ask me questions <laughs> because if you don't, I don't know if you, I don't know, are understanding. Yes, means uh, repeat uh, um, or uh, is um, more auditive, trio, more syllable. Okay, so as I told you before, if we have syllables, syllables are this, right? When you say important, three syllables, right? Beautiful, three syllables. Those are the syllables, the sounds. B, U, no, beautiful, right? Beautiful. It's so in I... the form, not is in writing. What is it? Is um, in the some syllables, yeah. not, not on the, in the writing. Exactly. Thank you for that uh, comment, Rafael. Yes. In English, Okay, that's important for you to understand. In English, it's different than in Spanish because in Spanish is the consonant with vowel, right? That's a syllable. But in English is the sound, okay? The sound. So, view, in this case, view, all this is just one, it's just one syllable, okay? Just one syllable there. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I have a question. Okay. Is it correct to say uh, my English pronunciation is worse than yours? My English pronunciation is worse than yours. That is correct. But worse is the adjective. Yeah. In that case, thank you for asking, Oseas. That question will be an irregular adjective. Okay. Irregular adjective. For example, the same as better, better, okay? Now, I would like to understand, I'm gonna go with that, Oseas, now, but I would like to understand if, well, I would like to know if you understand this, so I can explain to you what, in, what an irregular adjective is. Okay, I think that we're clear on this. You can ask me, and I will explain again. I... I want a question. Okay, you have a question. Um, uh, uh, I use a polite uh, comparison. Like, like, a song? Like, like in comparisons? Yeah, you say. But when you're saying the same thing. So, for example, I am like you. Or oh, I speak English like you. That is a comparison, but I'm not using an adjective. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mayra, you have a question? No, teacher. Okay. No, miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. Don't worry. Okay, perfect. Now, um, let me show you the irregular adjectives. Okay, this one. It says... The following adjectives have irregular forms, okay? So good is not gooder, right? It's better, yes? Well, in the form of health, right? Like I'm well, I'm better now, right? 
I'm feeling better today because today, yesterday I was sick. I'm feeling better today. The irregular form for bad is not better, right? It's worse. Worse, worse like Osea was saying, right? It's worse. Far, as in something that is far away, we don't say farther. We say farther or further. Both forms are correct. So you need to understand that this case, the adjective is going to change in the structure, not Far only tail. with ER. Okay. Farther, further. My house is farther than yours. Yeah. What does the meaning of far? What is the meaning of far? Yes. Do you know? Yes, do you... yes exactly. Uh, yeah. So farther. Farther. Veronica, can you repeat the meaning of far to Amado? What? Farther? Far. What is far? Lejos. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Veronica. you. Okay. Yes. So these are irregular adjectives. In this case, they change the structure. Okay. Now, thinking that you have understood the topic, I'm going to go with an activity. Okay. And we're going to make sense with this activity. Let me show you, let me send you the link. Thank you. Okay. Giraffe are horses. So in this case, I have the verb to be and I have the thing number one. Following the structure, what do I need then? I need the adjective. But in this case, how many syllables can you listen in this adjective? Tall. Tallest. What is it? No. Tall no. is just one, right? Just one syllable. I need to add E. L -T -R. R. R. Taller. And I need another word. Do you remember? Then. 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 The comparison is then. Giraffes are taller than horses, okay? Now, this is with the adjectives that are short adjectives. But for example, in the number two, I have a long adjective. Beautiful, they already know. So what do I need in this case? It's more beautiful. More. Beautiful. Beautiful. And? Then. Then. My pencil case pencil case is cartuchera. My pencil case is more beautiful than yours. So when I finish, I go to terminado, robar mis respuestas, and you see, it's correct. When you finish, you're going to send me the grade that you got to the WhatsApp group. But we're going to do this in groups, okay? Now, remember the rules that we just practiced, okay? And when you finish, try to practice pronunciation, reading and pronunciation. I want to say congratulations to the people that were speaking English in the breakout rooms. That's good, okay? Keep on practicing your English. Remember, we are intermediate level. I think we're good. Okay, there you go. There you go. Let's go. <coughs> Let's go. Johnny, Lisette, Rafael Martinez. There you have the invites to the breakout rooms, okay? Let's, let's go.
de la high team. Sí, esa no la sabemos. Sí, por lo menos yo no me la sé. High team es eso. Height. Height. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es height? Alto. What is sí, the sí. rule? So what is the rule? More. Mm, wow. How many adjectives do we have there? I mean, what syllables? Count, let's count the syllables. One syllable, two syllables, three syllables. How many syllables do you see in high? Very high. <laughs> no. How many syllables do we see in high? High. Syllables. Let's count. High. One syllable. One syllable. Correct, Blanca. What is the rule if we have only one syllable? ER. ER. So at the end of hike, at ER. Higher. Mm -hmm. Higher. Yeah. ER. Higher than. Correct? Done. Noise. 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 Hello. Boy. How can I help you? Oh, yes. I find, I find, uh, my classmate, uh, found the activities. Miss. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Summer is. Uh, summer. Potter. 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 Beautiful. I am more more comfortable than heavier than people than. Tengan cuidado porque solo veo mayúsculas ahí, no vaya a ser que se los tire mal por eso. Oh. Déjenme hacer una prueba, esperen, vamos a hacer una prueba para que no tengan que borrarlo todo. Vamos a hacer una prueba. ¿Cuántas personas estamos participando acá? Oh, sí lo toma bueno. No, no hay problema entonces. Uh -huh. bueno. <ríe> okay. Okay. Menos mal. <ríe> Menos mal, porque si no, ya. Vamos a ver. Did you finish? Hello, did you finish? You didn't start, Miss. You didn't start. You don't have the link? Yes. What happened? Would you change, Miss, the group? You want me to change the group? Nobody's speaking here? Yes, maybe it's better change the group. Mm, okay. Got it.
listen to me before we continue, right? Now, we have to understand that we are speaking more English. I understand. But if you don't understand something that I'm saying, you can ask me again, okay? Easily. I can say it in easier words or maybe if definitely you cannot understand, someone can help you with Spanish, okay? But in my case, I will try to speak English and mostly English because in this level, you need to have a good listening skill, right? And you are going to acquire more vocabulary listening to me, yes? And when I send you to practice, you got to practice English because if we practice English, we're going to have more vocabulary, okay? That's it. And also, when some groups are quiet and they are not participating, call me, because tienen un botón de pedir ayuda, call me, and when you call me, I'm going to go and I'm going to send people to different groups, okay? Help me with that, okay? Now, let's go with this here. And in this case, in the conversation, we just saw, we saw the, some comparatives. Cheese, cheese is better than pepperoni. That's a comparison, better, right? And in this case, we're using an irregular adjective, right? The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place, okay? Those are the comparisons they are doing there. Now we're gonna do this activity, yeah? And we're gonna match the vocabulary. So we're gonna match the words with the meanings. Buffet, book a table, take out, delivery, specialty that I told you already. For example, here, you can call a restaurant, order food, and they take it to your home. What number is that, do you think? Number five. It's number five, delivery, number five, yeah. right? It's number five, correct. Now we have, can you help me reading number two, please, Henry Torres? Sorry? Can you read, read? Leer. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Uh, you can call a restaurant order food. And... No, 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 this one, this one, this one, this one. Ah, okay, sorry, sorry. To make a reservation at a restaurant. Okay. So what do you think, guys? What is to make a reservation at a restaurant? Book a table. Book a table, correct. Number three. Book a table, number three, yeah. Uh, let's see, Veronica Burgos, can you help me reading this? Okay. A package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Okay, what do you think, guys? So it's a meal that you buy in a restaurant and you can eat it in your house. Four? Take out. Take out. Take out. Correct, it's take, take out. Take out. Correct, good. Let's go with Carlos. Can you help me reading this one? Different dishes, dishes places in a public area where people serve utensils. Okay, thank you. So different dishes, and they are in a public area. So people go and they grab the food. What is that? Oh, two. Buffet. 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 It's a buffet. Yeah, it's a buffet. Number, let's go with the next, next one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm going to ask Silvia Patricia. Help me reading the last one. A dish. That is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Okay, thank you, Silvia. A dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. That is the special specialty. So what they are famous for. They are famous because this is their specialty. Okay, good job. Specialty. There. 
specialty. So you have here vocabulary. If you want to take a screenshot because you have vocabulary. What is a specialty? It's a extremely good dish. What is a buffet? Where people go and grab the food. What is a book a table to make a reservation? What is take out? Right? A what package. Take out? No. A package meal. And what is delivery? When you call the restaurant and they take your food to your home. Okay? Got it. Good. Let's continue. Now, this is the explanation about things that I told you already. One or two syllables are ER and you have more than two syllables, you add the word more and the word completely. You already know this because I explained this already. It's not difficult to do, it's pretty simple. Now we're gonna complete these sentences that we have right here. These beverages, beverage, beverage, these beverages are the ones cheap. Hmm, cheap, cheap. How many syllables do you see in the word cheap? How many syllables? Well, one, one syllable. syllable. So what is the rule in this case? Ship. Barato. What is the rule? R E R I E R. E R at the end. Right. Cheaper. And then I need another word. That is. Then. Then. Right. That. Cheaper than. So these beverages are cheaper than the ones from Tarbox. Then we have the next adjective is romantic. You see the next adjective, romantic? How many syllables do you see there? Three. Man Three syllables. syllables. So in this case, I need more. More. more, more romantic. Romantic. romantic than, than, restaurant. Than. than. More romantic than. You see? More yeah. romantic than. <coughs> the buffet at Ming Lee's restaurant complete. 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 More complete. How many syllables do you see there? Complete. Three, Three syllables. Three. Okay. Three okay. Syllables. So. The buffet at Ming Lee's restaurant complete. is yeah. more, complete. more complete. More complete. More complete than than more complete the chance. The chance. Okay. Number five and number six, you send it to the chat. Okay. I'm gonna be waiting in the chat. Okay. Now. There. No. 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 Me lo van a mandar al chat. You're gonna send it to the chat here in Zoom. Choose only to English corporativo, okay? Okay. Mm 
Okay, good. While you send me the answers, I'm going to go with the last attendance, okay? Because in the first half of the class, we didn't have many students. Maybe now we do. <clears throat> Ana Veronica Hernández Rodríguez. No. Present. Okay. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Present. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present. En Henry Adonai Torres Gómez. Present. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan José Olivo Enríquez. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Present, Miss. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, Miss. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Miss. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present, Miss. Jacqueline Lisette García Miranda. Present, Miss. Okay, perfect. Okay, you guys. Um, that will be for today. And remember, every class, you can stay 10 minutes with me at the end. If you didn't understand a topic, just let me know at the beginning of the class. I want to stay today 10 minutes with you, okay? Because I'm always here, okay? But if you don't have any questions or anything to do, bye-bye. Have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, classmates. Bye. Bye. <laughs>